Oh god. <laughs> Imagine you tuned in. Okay. It's like Sunday afternoon. You tuned in to watch like uh, NASCAR on the TV. And you come to NASCAR and there's like a whole bunch of cars out there normally racing. And then there's like one car in the back. <laughs> Doing this. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out a PlayStation Classic. Ooh, got a little full motion video here with some trees rustling in a summer night. What are we gonna see? Is a leaf on the road? Is this CGI'd? This is the original PlayStation, so if they CGI'd this, they really put put a lot of effort into it, because you could not CGI things that easily back in the era of PlayStation. Yeah, look, it's kind of grainy. It is CGI. You can totally tell now. Oh, it's building up. What are we playing? What are we playing? What are we playing? I can't stand it! Show me the title screen, damn it! <laughs> I guess you can probably deduce at this point, if you haven't read the title. I mean, who doesn't read a title before they click a YouTube video? You guys know what we're playing. I don't know why I'm playing all coy here. We're playing... Gran Turismo, one of the best racing games, apparently, of all time. I'm not a huge racing fan, so this is a little news to me. Oh, I thought we were looking at a road, but we were looking at Sony. Well, they, they faked us out there. Here we go. Gran Turismo, crazy, have a seizure from all these titles. The real driving simulator. The rest are for noobs. Gran Turismo. <laughs> I like how the caption is the real driving simulator. It's like, oh man, I mean, you mean I haven't been playing real driving simulators all these years? Oh yeah, so how often do you see like a street Porsche racing against like a Honda Civic or whatever the hell these cars are? It's interesting. So the, this game's claim to fame is that it is a very, very realistic driving simulator. And so there is an arcade mode. Uh, but I read about it, and kind of nobody plays this game for the arcade mode, so screw it, man. We're going right to simulation. Because I want the real Gran Turismo experience. Fun little fact, I always thought it was Grand Turismo. You know, like, grand is in, like, really big. But apparently that is dead wrong. It is Gran Turismo. I don't know why it's not Grand. Grand is better, in my opinion. Uh, oh, yes. This, it's, so, it's so detailed, I have no idea how to even start a match. Well, I own a Toyota, so it's kind of boring to pick one. Licensing. Wait, can I just go race? There we go. Wow. Uh, oh, it's... I don't even know what to do. Spot race. Sure. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm picking stuff. Enter. Please get into the car. Wait. Please get into a car. Oh my god, it's such an, it's such an accurate simulator. It is like, you idiot, you can't race when you're not in a car. Go get in a car first. I didn't realize it was that detail. Okay. What's a good brand? We can go to the car wash. We can clean our car. We also have to do regular maintenance on our cars in this game, guys. Gotta take them for oil checks, get the tires rotated. Alright, to hell with it all. Okay, I'll buy a used Toyota. I feel like someone's grandpa. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna... I mean, grandpas don't buy these kind of cars. 28000 for a Supra. It's like they fit, they they wanted to say Super, but they they didn't. And they said another word, and they didn't quite finish saying it. Supra. What's the rest of the word, bro? Okay, let's buy a Corolla, because I feel like that's a very sensible car. Not only can we street race in it, we can drive the kids to work, the wife can take it for the groceries. You know, it has very good mileage. Safety rating is through the roof. Yes, I will buy it. Oh. You know, for a simulator, I was expecting more. Like, there's no paperwork, there was no bank loan, nothing. They just gave me a car. And I only have $2,200 left. Wow. We are, so basically, the, you've tuned in to watch me race in a Toyota Corolla. They were not kidding. This is simulator. Okay, now, am I actually in the car? Oh, apparently you have to go get a license, too. So I have to, like, go to driving school and then practice driving with my mom for a bit? Practice cornering? No, 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 no. Are you serious? Can I, can I just 
go race. Is it? Is this for real? Like, le let me race. Okay, good. So apparently you do have to earn licenses to go on to something in this game. Perhaps more sophisticated routes, I don't know. I'm obviously not going to learn a license. I don't drive with a license, guys. Driving with a license is only a bad idea if you get caught. Uh, automatic. I have no idea how to drive a car manually, by the way. Who does, in fact, anymore? It's kind of a lost art. I mean, what's the point of driving a car manually anymore? I mean, honestly, beyond sort of the the machismo of it. Oh, here we go. This thing handles like my car, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Oh my god! It doesn't handle that well, though. Okay, we're gonna have to learn the controls really fast. You know what's funny? It's like a normal arcade racing game. I can do pretty well. But this, it feels like there's bulk to the car. This is really interesting. Like, it definitely feels very different than a normal racing game. And you can see I'm kind of like more all over the road than I am with other racers. Oh, man! Like, I'm not even going that fast, but I'm going off the course. I mean, this is what would happen if I really tried to race. Whoa! <laughs> I probably look i probably look completely hammered. I swear I'm not drunk. Although, if you were going to drive drunk, this is where you do it in a video game. Never on the roads, guys. Never on the roads. All right. I got like half a song there, and then it ended. Oh. Yeah, let's watch a replay of that. Okay, hold on. I, I, I was sixth. I didn't even know I was racing in anyone. What? Okay, hold on. Oh, start the race. Yes. Wait. Car settings. I better have a uh, cheetah interior here. Car parts. Are you serious? You can't mess with all this stuff. Huh. Why wouldn't I have racing parts on? Oh, I guess I don't own them. Man, this, this is realistic. So I can already totally see how if you were a real racing aficionado, this game would be an utter playground for you to get in there, dig around, and just have fun. Is that a station wagon to my left? I feel like I'm racing like a bunch of soccer moms. A bunch of people who are like on their way to work or shift at Denny's or something. Let's ram a guy. Oh! Oh, really? There's some heft to it when you hit someone, too. So, like every game I play, I went into this game with some preconceptions. Oh my god, I'm totally spinning out. I've lost control of the car. Holy crap! I mean, I guess that's, again, what happens in real life. My god. So I went into this game with a lot of preconceptions, and I thought, oh yeah, most realistic driving simulator. Well, I don't really like driving games, so who cares? Already, I can tell. It's fascinating. There is a different feel to this car than most racing games I play. I guess I'm so used to playing arcade racers that I just never thought what it would be like to play... Oh, God. To, to, to play a non-arcade racer. It feels really different. It feels like I'm actually driving a car. It's bizarre to say. Again, I'm not a racing guy. I'm just going by my experience here, oh, and I slam into a wall. Oh, and I do donuts again. Oh, God. Okay, well, you know what? We've clearly lost this race. Let's kill some people in a head-on collision. Let's just go for it. Yeah, wrong way. I know it. Except it's the right way for me. I'm suicidal. I got a death wish. I got something to prove. Oh! oh I thought it would be... I, considering how realistic this game is, I thought the car accident would be far more exciting. It was actually a huge letdown. So I guess damaging your car is nothing exciting in this game. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm I'm so far quite impressed with this game. Whoa, if I... Oh my god. Like, my finger wasn't even on the gas for most of that. My car is just spinning out insane. In an insane manner. Jeez. Well, I guess we're not winning this race, but are you really surprised? 
I didn't think this Toyota Corolla was race ready anyway. So Gran Turismo here is the first of a whole series, obviously. I think they're still making Gran Turismos. They might have come out with one recently for the Xbox One. Was there like seven of these things now? I... Oh man, this game is like making me curious. I kind of want to try the new one now. Like, as I say, not a race fan. Don't really have any real interest in racing games uh, to speak of. Little Mario Kart is pretty fun. But this one really feels like a different style of game. I, I, I am probably impressed. This game took five years for them to develop, though, which is insane when you think about it. <laughs> My car kind of looks like a DeLorean, which I can get behind. Kind of like uh, if I get up to 88, maybe I'll, I'll go back in time and be able to undo the horrible performance in that race. Holy crap, they actually paid me for that race? They gave me $100. They are like, you know what, here? Just get out of here. Here's gas money to leave. Please don't race in our race again. You put a lot of people in serious danger. Don't worry, I'm not going to race in your stupid race. You guys don't want me there, and I don't want to be there. i got to pick up my kids from soccer practice anyway. Then look a shift at the video store. All right, let's, let's try a few of these out. Maybe we will go into arcade mode just to see some different cars. Because I got a feeling I'm not going to earn enough money to buy another car. Considering buying a Toyota Corolla wiped me out. Start qualify, test run. So I guess first you qualify, and then you race. Which is, I think, how it works in real racing, too. So, pretty cool. But yeah, five years development time. Which, when you think about it... That is crazy, because that, because like technology moves so fast that if you started developing a game and it took you five years before you could put it out, by the time you put it out, you're putting it out on hardware that's very different than what you started developing it on. Although, you know, when this game did come out, I think the developer, I'm blanking on his name right now, but they estimated that this game only used about 75% of the PlayStation 1's maximum performance capabilities. I don't know how you estimate that, by the way, but if that's true, I mean, that's fascinating because it means they could have made a game that was like 25% even better, and I don't know what that would look like necessarily. It's interesting how like when consoles come out, it's always kind of like that, you know, like the first generation of PS3 games that came out are way less sophisticated than the PS3 games that are still coming out right now. It's sort of like it takes developers a while to figure out how to use consoles to their maximum potential. I don't know why that is. You never hear about people being like, oh, well, PC, you know, this PC game only really uses about 60% of the potential. Well, I guess PCs are really, you know, when you have some PCs that have more RAM than others and stuff, it's really hard to gauge what level of potential you're using. You kind of have to design PC games to just be lowest common denominator. Say, oh, I don't know, most people have 8 gigs of RAM these days, so that's what will make it use. But of course you could make a game that requires 32 gigs of RAM, it's just no one would be able to play it. Or very few people would. Oh man, we are kicking butt. I have a good feeling about this one, guys. We're getting the lay of the land. We're listening to some Summer of 69 while we jazz out in our Toyota Corolla. We're getting real ready for this race. And we are first. There's only one other racer, it was us, but we were first. That's right. Let's do it. You know what, if I win this race, I'm totally buying a car wash. I'm gonna splurge. My car deserves it. All right, let's do this. Are, are you guys ready? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. One of the things I've been doing recently, by the way, is getting a hold of different consoles and game controllers and stuff. I'm really starting to feel like I have to ramp up my seriousness with this Let's Play 1001 Games quest of mine. For example, one of the other racing games that I uh, have played for this series is Daytona USA. I played the arcade version, I think I also played the Sega Saturn version as well. But in the arcade version of that, I was just using a keyboard and mouse because it's impossible to get like an arcade cabinet for that thing. 
but it was kind of hard to control because the game really expected a racing wheel. And I kind of realized that I think I had to splurge and buy a racing wheel because there's going to be more racing games like this one. I'm not actually using the racing wheel for this one because it was designed for the PS1, so I'm actually using a PS1 controller here. But I have been on a little bit of a spending spree. I actually feel kind of guilty about it. I also bought an arcade style controller. You know, one of those like joysticks that has like the round ball on top and then has the big uh, arcade uh, buttons and it goes click, 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 click when you like move the joystick all around. I bought that, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't cheap. Maybe it's a bad call, but I wanted, next time I play an arcade game, I totally want to feel more like I'm playing an arcade game. So I'm going to start getting a little more serious about trying to capture the authentic experience of playing these 1001 games. Oh, God. Doing pretty good, though, I got to say. What's kind of interesting is I feel like if I was racing in real life, I don't know. I have a feeling I would be able to do a little better than this. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I'm totally overestimating my abilities here. Racing is always a little harder. In re like, we all drive, right? You drive a car. How come you're better at driving a car than you are at racing a game? You would think that if you can drive a car well, you should be able to race a game well. But it just never seems to work that way. So I don't know what the trick is here. How were we first in qualifiers and we're like fifth now? Okay, I'm going to roll my window down and throw my 7-Eleven slushy at this guy when I pull past him. Come on, you bastard. Oh, God. Ram into the wall or something. I wonder if you can crash in the latest Gran Turismo. That would totally be a reason to get Gran Turismo. Is it Turismo or Turismo? Oh, I don't know. Don't ask me, not like I know anything. I just play these games, guys. I play these games and I make stuff up. I've actually totally got facts wrong in previous videos. Apologizing for it right now. Um, don't take anything I say, by the way, too seriously, because I've said this before. When I play these games, I'm kind of trying to think and talk at the same time. I'm trying to be generally accurate in what I say, but I know I've gotten like little details of certain things wrong here and there. Because uh, I sort of misread them on my notes while I was playing. Because every now and then when I play, I'll kind of peek over at my notes and see what's coming up. But uh, I think in the Shadowrun video, by the way, I kept saying how like, oh, uh, shout oh, here we go. I'm just wiped out. I'm, I'm losing this race too, by the way. I think in my Shadowrun video, I was saying how like, oh yeah, you know, uh, Shadowrun was influenced by the Matrix and by like uh, Johnny Mnemonic and so on and so forth. I think most of those games came out after the Shadowrun SNES game. And when I actually watched my video afterwards, I realized I didn't technically mean that those movies influence the developers or the creators of Shadowrun to make Shadowrun. I just meant that they're all kind of in the genre of the cyberpunk thing, and so they all kind of influence cyberpunk and simultaneously are influenced by, and so Shadowrun has similarities to these movies and kind of captures the essence of some of them. And maybe some of these movies took some inspiration from it, but it's all just sort of in the genre of... Oh, they gave me 200 bucks this time. Oh, no, wait, 100. Damn it. It's all in the genre of, uh, of whatever it is I'm talking about. <laughs> genre of cyberpunk. All right. Um, geez, what do we do here? Well, we continue, obviously. Maybe I should give my grandpa his uh, Corolla back and try a more substantial car here. Because you guys didn't tune in to watch me race my used, my used Toyota Corolla. Okay, hold on. What would be like the best car, an Ashton Martin? Let's look at how much a new car costs. Hundred and sixty-four thousand dollars. I have twenty-four hundred. Can can you get like a loan? Can I like destroy my credit buying cars in this game? That should be an option. Borrow money from the mob from a very nefarious source. Make bad life choices to buy a very expensive car. You know, if this game was really realistic, they'd have you not only pay insurance, but make car payments, too. Alright, let's do... Ooh, two-player battle. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with easy. I, I feel like I need it. And we're going with a damn Aston Martin. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. 
Um, no, I want like a Bond car. Yes, Bond would, and this would be his color. All right, we got we got a Bond car going on here. There's no way I can lose this race. Where do we want to race though? Let's do somewhere. Ooh, city. Is that Bond like? It's kind of Bond like. Okay, we are a spy in Russia, trying to escape with nuclear missile plans. And we have a hot enemy KGB agent on our tail. Hello, it might just be us. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of them. They're all KGB agents. And one Canadian named J Bond. Not James Bond. Although J Bond just sounds like poor slang for James Bond. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Guys, I've never driven a car this expensive. And I'm all over the road! I guess if nothing else, hopefully this entertains you. My god, why can't I keep it straight? <laughs> this is what would happen if I actually were to drive this car. It's such a good simulator. It's so realistic. Oh my god. Okay, I think I got the hang of it. Don't press the eject key. Or launch the machine guns. Oh! And I'm just burning out. I'm doing donuts here. Is that a uh, pit stop? I'm gonna skip it. Oh man. How do you get good at this game? <laughs> because I am not. And I need to learn how to be better. Wow. Gran Turismo here. It's really kicking my butt. I guess I shouldn't mock people who are actually good at racing games because turns out it's not an easy thing. Oh god, I hate this tunnel. Although I've caught up to people. Give me the nuclear missile plans, you blue car. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine you tuned in. Okay. It's like Sunday afternoon. You tuned in to watch, like, uh, NASCAR on the TV. And you come to NASCAR, and there's, like, a whole bunch of cars out there normally racing. And then there's, like, one car in the back <laughs> doing this. <laughs> like... Oh my god, that would be... Uh, I, I, I wish that was a thing. I mean, I don't because somebody could seriously be hurt. But just... Oh, I didn't even place. So I'll just ram that guy. Forget it. I can't even pass you when you're not trying. Oh, I passed one guy. Oh, I passed two, three, what the hell? Why am I passing them now? now? Four? Are you kidding me? Was I just like an inch away? Oh no, it's because the computer's driving for me now. Yeah. All right. No, don't show me a replay. I I I know I failed. I don't need to see it again. Okay, let's let's put in uh, put in my name and see where they put us on the quote unquote high scoreboard. No. Oh well, who cares? Oh no, I can't spell it correctly. Uh, well, it took my name. I don't know what it did with it. It was just like, we're going to throw that one away. You didn't actually place. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try that again. Easy again. Let's go with like the, well, we already did like a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> a Civic. Totally can, can race these crap cars. It's hilarious. How about a Chevy? I wonder if the developers of these cars had to pay anything to get their cars in here. Oh, man. Oh, wait. I could oh, I could drive, like, a dream car. Oh, there's no Dodge. Oh, man. Okay. I think the Chevy looked like a car that I, I like. I don't know much about cars. This is not the car that I, I like, but it's kind of reminiscent of one. So, okay, good enough. Car I was thinking of. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Sex Drive. Not a porno. It's just like an American Pie style movie. Um, but in that movie, one of the brothers owns a really sweet red car with a white stripe down the middle, and it kind of looks like this one. And that's kind of in my head. That was always kind of a car that I thought was really cool, and it wasn't unaffordable. And so I kind of toyed with the idea of getting it at one point, but I ultimately decided it's probably not a good use of my money. Here we go. Out of my way. Out of my way, jerks. 
I wish I wish it was more substantial when you hit them. Oh god, trying to wipe that guy out has totally backfired. I'm all over the road. Thankfully I'm still first place because I'm awesome. Oh god. Oh my god. My, if, if my guy was really driving, he would be so dizzy. My god. So I gotta say, I'm impressed by the simulation component of this, oh god, component of this, this game. It definitely has, I came into it with some preconceptions, thinking it was just another racing game. It definitely has some very unique feel to it. I'm clearly no good at it, so I'm not gonna linger around too much longer here with this Let's Play. But it definitely is pretty cool, I would say. And so if you are a racing fan, I 100% see how this game, you could really get into it. My uncle, he really loved racing games. I remember he used to make me play like F1 racing games with him when I was a kid. I bet, I bet he already knows about this game. He probably plays this series, but yeah, he would love this. All right, so what are the pros of this game? The pros are, it is a very good, very realistic game um, in terms of being a racer. It has tons of options. Oh my God, I thought I was gonna flip the car. Oh God. It has tons of options, tons of cars, tons of customization. Again, if you are a car geek, you should try Gran Turismo. If you haven't heard, heard of it, shame on you, go try it. Um, even if you aren't a car geek, I would say this is actually one where I could see giving this a try, especially with a friend. Whoa, that guy did a bit of a jump. That's pretty cool. Maybe you might want to try a more recent Gran Turismo. And I don't know if there's a more recent one in the book. There might be. I might be playing another Gran Turismo at some point. I'm just, I'm not even pressing gas. Holy crap. It really takes a while to like spin out there. I wish you could see what I'm doing because I feel like I'm not overly oversteering or anything. It's just it's so damn sensitive. Maybe I should have used a uh, racing wheel for this game. Oh God. Oh God. Um, you know guys, I think we've learned today that I am a horrible driver and I shouldn't be on the roads. And thankfully, or hopefully maybe, uh, Google's self-driving car will make that a reality soon enough and I will not be on the roads. Then just Google can drive me around. It'll be a lot safer for everyone. Um, yeah, so the pros are this game is just packed with content. The cons are it is a difficult game to pick up if you're a total racing noob. Like, if you don't have the patience to learn this, then you're probably not going to have too much fun. I'll just let the replay play while I wrap up here. <laughs> we can watch my horrible driving. Like, one of these racers is not like the others, eh, guys? One is, like, all over the... He's just ramming people. <laughs> this is more fun than racing. He looks drunk. Oh, God. And you know if I was in there, I would just be screaming the whole time. <laughs> so, yeah, the cons are that, you know, if you don't if you don't have the patience to learn this, you're not going to get very good at it. I can already tell. It takes a level of skill I don't have. Um, and it's not to say I wouldn't try to learn it, but it would take time. So if you don't have the patience for that, you're not going to like this game. So is this a game you should play before you die? I would say, like many that I'm starting to realize it really depends it definitely if you like racers I would say yes it will have a lot of options for you if you're not really into racers you may not have the patience for it and that's just how it is but I don't know what do you guys think do you guys agree with my little recommendation here do you have other opinions other memories of this game if so go ahead and share with me down in the comments let me know your opinion I'm always curious to hear these things from you guys um, but beyond that, if you have liked this video, go ahead and give me a like, give me a subscribe, because I'll, I will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game, and hopefully a game I'm a little better at, and I don't terrify you as much in. Um, so until then, guys, take care of yourselves, and peace.